what's up beauties and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel then welcome don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your bells now today's video will be our very first official uh sweet tooth hair coloring series videos you know whole shebang for this new series and today's hair is provided by west kiss hair now they sent over this beautiful and extremely full natural brown 30 inch uh lace frontal body wave wig and this wig is bomb.com okay y'all the wig was so full so soft and because this is the very first uh, video for our coloring series, I'm going to show you how I achieved this jet black color. Now, I got this color um, idea from my boo, and y'all already know who he is, at Slay by Jordan. Um, I tried his method today of doing the jet black color by using the Royal Navy and using the color jet black from Adore. Now, usually when I do a jet black, I do permanent dye and I use like the permanent jet black dye but today I'm going to use the semi-permanent colors um, and as I mentioned before it is one uh the royal navy and the jet black and he said that it will give you the blackest black that you want and indeed he was dead ass on like excuse my language y'all but I gotta be real this wig got jet black so quick so fast and the lace did not stain and this is an hd lace wig and to be honest i did not like okay in his video he sprayed like the got to be on the knots and stuff and you know that's his way of not preventing the lace from staining but honestly i didn't do that at all and the lace did not stain and i just kept pretty much just dipping um the wig into that um that color i put the royal navy in there first and then i added the jet black right afterwards and i just made sure i mixed it up really really good like whenever you are doing the water dye method um make sure that you do mix that color in well and there's no clumps and lumps in the coloring and that water combination because those clumps of color is what i've come to believe that stains the lace so make sure that you mix it up really, really well. And then once you do, you can go ahead and begin to dip your wig. And your coloring should come out just fine. Now I did let that sit for 10 minutes, but I did not let the lace sit underwater. So try this method as well and let me know how that works for you guys on the next coloring video. Um, even if you do the roots that same color just don't put the lace all the way under the water like you can do it when you're dipping your wig but as far as letting the wig sit in the water for like 10 15 20 minutes don't leave the lace underneath the water keep the lace outside of the water if you have to clip it to your bucket or your pot whatever you got to do just make it do what it do but the lace did not stain and um after i let it sit for those 10 minutes i just came in with my tresemme shampoo and conditioner and i really let it sit and here is what the wig looked like after I blow dried it. It is very black, jet black. And what I did also was, um, you know, I just went ahead and did like my pin curl um, thing. So, cause at first I was trying to go for like a roller set type of look. Y'all know like the big fluffy curls and everything. But um, I don't know because I don't know if the curls didn't hold because I had made the wig bone straight and then decided to curl it afterwards. But once I actually let the curls down, and you will see it later on in this video, it's like they did not really hold. And I didn't want to cut any layers into the wig because it's a 30 inch. Like, who gets inches and just decide they want to chop it all up? Because I know I sure don't. So, you know, and that's just me being completely honest. So, um, you know, you guys will see that later on. So, I did like actually like a two day video in this one video. I'm going to show you guys how I installed this wig and how I just wore it with that natural wavy look. And then the next day I came on and, you know, did the bone straight look. But however, um, I went ahead and did my ball cap method, as you guys seen in the beginning of this video. And I applied my scalp protectant to my skin. I had already cleaned it with my 99% um, lace prep alcohol. 
and now I'm just applying my layers of my lace adhesive. And y'all know it is December first, new month, new beginning, new blessings. My new shop is opening this month. The new restock is hitting hard. I'm gonna show y'all the new products that we got coming in in the spot to be a lituation. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. In the meantime, just go ahead and watch me do my, you know, my basic steps of getting my wig slayed. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. in and of course y'all know i'm gonna take my top seller the one everybody go crazy about that ultimate melt belt okay and i overstocked with this product because y'all don't play if y'all don't get nothing else that glue and the melt belts be baby out of stock okay so i got more than enough melt belts so you can purchase as many as you need and we is not running out okay y'all so um y'all know when you got that melt belt you gonna get exactly what you asked for a melt from that belt like that's and that's on period okay so um after i remove that melt belt i'm just going in with that eyebrow razor brand new fresh try to get fresh razors y'all because the fresher they are the better they just glide on across your hairline and make it so much easier so once i cut off the extra lace i went ahead and just got my um adhesive on the back of my hand and just took my little small tooth comb applied that adhesive under those little spaces and just pushed it right on into that skin So y'all, I finally decided to do me some baby hairs. And of course, y'all know I ain't do it on camera because this be the part that aggravates me the most about my hair. And I also took out the, uh, you know, the little duck clips that was in my hair for the, um, the curls and everything. And, um, y'all know I got a baby hair tutorial coming. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get nine different video footages to put together to make just one nice little lengthy video so y'all can really see it all. So... Be patient, y'all. It's coming. I promise y'all it's coming. It's another month of slaying. Like, it's December. We got stuff to do. We got, ain't got no time to play. But, um, like I mentioned before, like, I sat there and I curled the hair and everything. But, like, once I started to, like, finger comb it, the curls would not was not holding, like, how I wanted it to. So, it wasn't giving really me that look that I originally wanted. So, this is how it pretty much came out overall it was still cute and this wig is very very silky and soft like i mentioned i did like press it out so i decided to just you know extend this clip a little bit more and i'm going in with day two and this is what it looked was like after waking up so i just say hey you know what today i'm just going to go ahead and give myself a bone straight look so i'm just going in with uh, my wax stick and my hot comb and just hitting these roots first because honestly when I wear my middle parts, y'all, I don't like to wear it like both sides just straight, like on the side of my face. I don't like to wear it um, with both sides pulled behind my ears. I just really like to do one side behind my ear and the other part just sleek on my face. Kind of give it up. Maybe because maybe maybe because I really like side parts. So you know when you have them side parts, you usually have one side pulled back. So it's just like natural for me to do that you know do the same thing when i have a part down the middle just wear one side behind my ear and wear the other side like just sleek straight down so pretty much all i did was um 
and I forgot to show y'all that part but I just sprayed some of that olive oil heat protectant onto the hair and when it comes to adding any uh, protectants or any oils that you put on your hair before you press it make sure you do not over oil the hair because it will look wet shiny greasy like all of the above that is a common mistake i see a lot of people do and it just makes me cringe when i see somebody adding too much oils to their hair like just add just a tad bit that's all you need a little bit will take you a long way i promise y'all and as far as um my flat iron moment when i like press my hair out if you notice i do like a chase method so i like to put the comb at top and then um the flat iron like right underneath it i think i said it backwards but y'all get what i'm trying to say like i put the flat iron on top and the comb underneath that way i'm dragging the comb down which detangles the hair and then the flat iron is coming right behind that comb and just pressing all those hairs out straight so that's what i call the chase method when i'm doing my pressing now and i just do that at least two to three times until i feel like the hair is really straight and i'm gonna just go ahead and tag it down below the kind of flat iron that i love to use and they are very affordable i've said it before and you know a few of my other videos i use the infinity pro flat irons you can get these at walmart you can get these at walgreens and they probably have them in cvs too i never looked but i'm quite sure you know cvs and walgreens kind of like the same so um you could probably get there too and they're they should be no more than 35 bucks and i get the big flat iron and y'all can see the difference from me using that flat iron to what my hair was looking like yesterday so once i get it all pressed out i just add a little more wax on top just to give it a nice little shine you know catch all those little flyaways and it's looking so good like i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling this jet black i never really do jet black i never do jet black that's just what it is but i love it i love it for those nice sleek pressed looks like that jet black look will have you looking good and um now that y'all know how to do a um, you know color your wig jet black without staining your lace and everything i'm gonna do another jet black look but i'm gonna actually do like a roller set but i want it to be more so shorter like shoulder length and i'm gonna do that one for y'all um you know later on too so i'm just going to continue to get this hair all pressed out and once it's pressed i'm gonna kind of like come back on with my face beat and show y'all the finished look so just keep watching this video and enjoy this quick little press and slay As y'all can see, this hair is looking so just so good. I, like I'm loving the black, I'm loving the silk look. It's just so pretty. It's just flowing. It's so soft and everything. And I just want to show y'all this new little trick that I came up with. And I went and purchased this little um, it's really like a gray roots cover up. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. And I got it in the color jet black. And if you have an over bleach knots problem, this right here can solve that. If your foundation spread it onto your hair when you was doing your conceal part, this little product right here will fix that too. So I didn't have to use no black spray. If you can't find the high beams near you, just copy one of these and you will be good to go. But thank you guys for watching. Here is the finishing look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love y'all and see y'all on the next video in our new coloring series. Oh, 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 oh,